This is the engine that Rod is forging the crankshaft for. Dates back to about 1880. Made by the Ardwick Engineering Company Limited, Ardwick Manchester. And the crankshaft unfortunately is missing. We have a flywheel for it. Conrad and piston. At the moment he's just got a piece of round bar but uh, Rod will all being well, forges a uh, crankshaft for it that can be machined up. This is the bit of bar that Rod's going to heat up and bend to make the new crankshaft for the Ardwick engine. It'll only bend in the place he wants it to bend. I've got the back in here, Ron. Right. You could do it to go to me a bit. Can you see he's off the pressure? Yes. To be over bent, yeah, that's, that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Thank you very much. So that's our first throw bent. So it's now been reheated and Rod will quench it so it doesn't bend where he will where the bend shouldn't be. second bend for the crank. So this is where the main bearing will be and when it's bent the other way this will be where the large end goes. So we need to do a bit of uh, fine adjusting. At the moment the stroke's too much, so Rod's bringing it back. What's the tool called? Swage. It's not swage. Going to, Rod's now going to put in the second throw now. Thank you very much. So the crank's beginning to take shape now. now cooling down the bit where he doesn't want the crank to bend. So all being well the bend should be in the centre of the hot section here. Over to the jig. Because the 
it's a now shot there, I'm going to give it a bit of a helping hand. So you can now see the shape of the crank. So it's now, it's now it's back into the forge for a final heating prior to a final bit of adjustment. So this is a finished uh, item. So now it's just a matter of cut it to length and machine the, uh, the main bearings and the large end journals. All being well.